This topic is on file bending. A very misunderstood topic. Uh, many of us were taught to use cotton pliers and do kind of a ribbon curling technique uh, to make all of our negotiating files look like this, maybe even less than that, okay? Could be as subtle as that. The concept is as we're scouting down a root canal, having this bend on the file is going to help us go around curvatures and irregularities. Um, and I did this for many years, um, every single negotiating file. Um, what I found was in a, in a case, uh, in one of the most bothersome cases I'd seen in, in years, I could not get to the end of a root canal in a, a, a good friend's lower first molar classic. And uh, no matter what kind of bend, no matter which direction I moved the file in, I could not get to length. And uh, finally I gave up and I said, I guess I'm going to have to do apical surgery on this. This happens about once every two or three years. And I thought the only thing I hadn't tried was a straight file. So I just took a straight file out of the package, the sterile package, um, and it dropped to the end of the root canal, and, uh, most likely because there were fins along the whole length. So I found here's a case where bending the file prevented me from getting to length. So my next test was, uh, since I'm now questioning this r rule that I have to bend them all in this manner, uh, I tried my next 100 cases with no file bending. What I found out is 95% of the time, no file bending is necessary. That's pretty cool because if you're doing this, stopping file bending is going to save you lots of, uh, lots of time in your practice. Okay? And in 5% of the cases with an impediment, I had to bend the file, okay? But this file would not help me, this file bend would not help me at all with an impediment because if we look at this tip and this tip blown up, here's that file. And it's essentially functionally straight, okay? When we meet an impediment, that's a canal that is bending so sharply or a curvature that has such an irregularity off of it, like a lateral canal, that our unbent files won't go around it. This kind of a bend, essentially straight, will not get us around there. What we need is we need to bend in the last two millimeters of the file. Actually, the very last millimeter is the only one that counts because this is the part of the file that's going to try and dance around whatever is impeding your apical progress. And typically to make these kinds of bends, you're going to need a bending plier. You can use the endo bending plier. It's the endo bender. By uh, Cybron Dental Specialties, you can use an orthodontic plier with round beaks. But uh, hemostats and cotton pliers won't give it that last little tweak. You also don't want to mash up the very tip of it and uh, derange the flute geometry. Uh, the last thing to mention is when I need to bend a file to get around impediment, it's very critical that I locate the little notch in my stop towards the same direction as the file bends. So when that tip is, has disappeared into a root canal, I'm trying here, pulling out, trying here, pulling out, trying here, and it slips in, I simply look at the stop and I can see my file is curved in a uh, just a buckle direction, for instance. The next time I go in the root canal, I bend the file, adjust the stop, and I don't hunt for it. I take the file intentionally in the distal buckle vector and usually drop right through. So um, that's file bending.